Hey guys, welcome back to another week of First things first, you guys are probably wondering why the weird angle Basically, we had a area rug professionally cleaned this morning So we had to move everything out if you want to know the story behind this dang area rug You can watch um, this video here I'll throw up the thumbnail and I'll also link it in the description I did like a whole story time about it, but if you're caught up with that whole thing Today was the day we had it cleaned. Smells great, I'm very happy about it, but that's why I'm sitting here. Second, I look insane. I um, had the longest night ever. I wasn't even gonna film today, but I didn't know that my package was gonna arrive today. This little nugget from Crystal Star Nursery, and I wanted to, oh, I wanted to film an unboxing I think it's gonna be a messy one. I can hear stuff rattling. Long story short, ended up in labor delivery last night. I was there for a couple hours. We had a little scare with Archie. Everything is all good. Everything is fine. Nothing to worry about, but I'm exhausted. We didn't get home until about midnight and um, then the carpet guy was here early this morning. So running on little to no sleep. So FYI, we're not doing any week of stuff today it's not i'm not i wouldn't even really consider this the first day i just wanted to unbox this and get the plant out of here show you what i got from crystal star nursery and tell you a little bit about them um and then we will pick things back up for real tomorrow i just need to catch up on sleep today and kind of get my brain right so anyway welcome back to another week of not sure what this week has in store for us. I did want to take you guys back to Vandula Farms to show you everything that they have for their reopening. Depending on how my ultrasound goes tomorrow, uh, I'm not quite sure if I'll be able to go, but that's what's in the plan. Watering, spider mite treatments, the whole shebang. But first today, um, this, by the way, this is not sponsored. I ordered this from Crystal Star. If you are in Canada and you love Hoyas and you love Euphorbia, you love cacti and you just love all the weirdo plants, Crystal Star is your place to go. My booby cactus is from Crystal Star and my Dicaria metagariensis is also from Crystal Star. And so whenever I'm looking for a really cool plant to bring home that's not an aeroid, Crystal Star is my go-to. They are based in Ontario. Um, shipping is so reasonable. I probably should not have opened that toward my belly. Shipping is very reasonable within Canada. They only ship within Canada. They don't ship to the United States. But if you are in the US and you just kind of want to like discover new plants, they're a really fun website to shop just to kind of go through what they have. So anyway, I ordered two things from them. I'm so happy it's here and I'm just anxious. I hope that they're a good size. Oh, I thought there was gonna be like pond and soil everywhere because I can hear it. But you know what? I think there's gonna be some inside of this packaging. So maybe I head into the kitchen in case it does get a little bit messy. Hold on. So I ordered two plants from them and both were, were, where? <laughs> both were uh, wishlist plants actually. And I'm surprised that they had both of them during the restock. I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh my. There's pond. No, oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna have to vacuum. There's pond everywhere. So this, um, it doesn't look like much now. It looks like there's some damage on the new leaves, but it's to be expected with a plant that ships but as long as we have like a healthy bowl i'm gonna be totally fine but at least i have one nice leaf to show you here so this is a dioscoria mexicana and um, i'm gonna throw in a photo of what this looks like so i have found a few places that carried this dioscoria but i think there might be like two forms of it 
because one of the forms are like a wider leaf, but I have specifically been looking for the really, really long leaf. Dioscoria Mexicana. So the picture was a little vague on the website, I'm not gonna lie, but it looked elongated. So I'm like, I think this is the one I've been looking for. So uh, yeah, it looks like it's it and it's so cute. Again, it's a little bit, it's a little beat up from shipping, but my plan is to just get this into uh, a prop box right away. And I'm not gonna repot it just yet. I'm gonna give it some time to sort of acclimatize and de-stress from its long journey. I'm gonna step on pun here, um, but I'm just happy to have it. So you guys know how much I love my uh, Hoya Eve Rocherai. Throw in a picture of the Eve Rocherai. And this was a recommendation from a subscriber saying, oh, if you like the Eve Rocherai, you're probably going to like this one. And they were right. And so I've been kind of on the hunt for it ever since. And this is so much bigger than what was shown on the listing photo. So this is a Hoya stenophylla, stenophylla, stenophylla. And it resembles the Eve Rocherai a lot, but the leaves are definitely much thinner. They're as, I would say, not as stiff as the Eve Rocherai, but like, look at, these are like pins and needles. And so I'm not gonna have this one trellised. I am going to attempt to maybe get this one to trail if it will allow me to do that to it. Um, yeah, these are the two plants I got. I'm very happy with my purchase. Again, this is not an ad. I just really like Crystal Star. Whoa. So I'm going to be putting this in a prop box. I'm gonna get this one into some water because this one's just in pond and uh, hopefully it kind of perks up a bit. I'm probably gonna lose a lot of these leaves up here, but as long as the bulb is healthy, um, we shouldn't have any issues. But I'm actually going to unwrap this right now and just kind of see what's going on in here. By the way, I did get rid of my um, Dioscoria, frick, what's it called? Dioscoria, oh no, why can't I remember the name? Pregnancy brain, my other Dioscoria basically. That one just grew out of control. But I feel like this is a Dioscoria that kind of matches my style and my taste a little bit more than the other one. Oh yeah, it's got a little potato. Yeah, I'm gonna get this into some water. Might just cut off these leaves because there's <clears throat> really no salvaging it, I don't think. So I'm actually just gonna do that now and I'm probably just gonna remove this trellis so it's easier to get into a prop box. The stem is a bit yellow, but I'm not sure if that's the color of it or what because this leaf still looks healthy, but I'm gonna chop it right here. And I'm probably gonna try it, because I have propagated, I've propagated Dioscoria via stem cutting. People said that it couldn't be done, but I've done it, lots of people have done it. So I'm just gonna try it and see if it works. Just gonna get it into some water. Just not sure if it's supposed to be yellow, but it's fine, because I have the bulb here. As long as the bulb is healthy, I feel like I can bring it back, but we'll see what happens with this one. At least now it's gonna be easier for me to put it in a prop box. This one I don't really wanna take off the trellis, but I'll show you tomorrow what I end up doing with it. So anywho, like I said, such a long night, I'm exhausted. I, I'm not pushing it today in terms of trying to film, even though it's nice and sunny. It's gonna be like rainy for the next two days and today would have been like a perfect week of day to like be out in the living room to pitter patter, but I just, I truly do not have it in me. So I will see you uh, tomorrow. Hey guys, um, so first things first, you might notice the background is a slightly different. I was working last night and um, I was thinking about something and while I was thinking, I was just kind of staring at this setup and I was like, why on earth, why on earth? 
don't have have I not had my smallest XO up here the entire time instead of down here so I have moved I kind of like like adjusted these shelves a bit and I was gonna film it for a week of and then I realized that I love doing this kind of thing very impulsively and on my own and um, there are certain things that I leave to my own enjoyment so <laughs> I did it off camera but yeah I moved my smallest XO up here down here is where I have more props and now it's like a smaller area so that the light is a lot closer to the boxes and I can still afford to strike I can still stack some boxes um, too high and then over here is where I moved the plants that were once here um, they're living here now and then down here is more area for prop boxes and the reason that I need so much prop box area is because me and Alice are just pumping out uh, hybrids like crazy that was our goal this year we wanted to make more hybrids um, anthurium hybrids we wanted to collaborate on more hybrids and I think we have one two maybe three batches cooking right now maybe two two or three and one of them I need to kind of handle today so that is hopefully I don't knock everything over um, I can't remember if I showed this on my channel yet we have my anthurium brielle here this is like a isolated like crystallinum dock block hybrid or not dock block hybrid um, dock block plant looks very much like the silver blush there are slight differences but it's so minute like it's such a small difference between them but the brielle is beautiful has very very dark leaves striking venation she looks like crap right now but we got babies i'm kind of hoping that more ripen but it kind of looks like it's going to be a smaller harvest um which is fine so i used her anthurium crystallinum black as the pollen parent for this so now we have brielle dark crystallinum and i am or crystal black and i'm actually very excited to see how it turns out just because i am just obsessed with crystallinum right now i actually just picked up a crystallinum from lauren she did a tropicals import order and i didn't even bother looking at the list i was like all i want is a crystallinum and so i got this one and i actually my pre-order was a different crystallinum this one she ordered um for her not herself but to sell and i liked this one better and she allowed me to switch so thank you lauren um it's got a new leaf on the way i'm actually just acclimatizing it in a uh, leka but i can see some mushy roots so i think we are gonna go in here today and clean it out a little bit so on my to-do list for today is harvest some berries because it looks like there's like maybe one or two that look like they can be plopped out um i don't want to do it too early but i also don't want to wait too late so i think i'm going to pop out two of them today we're going to clean up the crystallinum roots uh, I might do a little time lapse, cleaning up the cleaning up the plant room a little bit because it's a bit messy in here. Um, and then I have to uh, go through some of my propagations, pot them up because I have to drop them off at Alice's tomorrow. I was gonna go to North Shore on Friday to work and to be there for the live sale, but we've had some. Complica not complications really and I'll tell you a little bit about it once we're kind of pitter-pattering but um, I have chosen to not go this week just because of what happened um, a few days ago so anywho let me get set up and I think we'll start with we'll just start with the berries because that's that should be pretty quick I decided I'm gonna work here today I'm having trouble kind of dialing in my settings for my camera. Whenever I film in the plant room and I am I have these lights in the background, there's always these black lines across the screen and it drives me crazy. I think it has something to do with my frame rate, but I just can't for the life of me figure out like what settings I need to put it on. So hopefully this is a little better. 
I did already harvest two of them that were about to fall out. The seeds are really big though compared to my last batch. I'm thinking in terms of these berries, this one looks ready to pop out and so does this guy right here. The rule of thumb is you want to wait till it looks like it's about to drop, but sometimes um, if you wait too long, they get uh, really wrinkled. And then when you go to open the seed, it's like basically rotten. So um, this one looks really bulgy too, but it's still a little bit green on the other side. So I'm going to leave that one alone. Gosh. I don't know. Should I wait? Like, I feel like this one is ready. This one might be able to wait a little bit longer. You know what? Maybe we do wait. Like maybe I wait until Friday and see how they look. I just took a glance at it before I left the house today and I was like, oh, I think these are ready to go. But now that I'm looking at it a lot closer, I feel like I could probably afford to wait another two days until it's really just like ripe and hanging out. Okay, sorry, sorry, false alarm. Sorry to give you blue balls if you were ready to see that get picked out, but um, I don't wanna do it too early. So then I guess right now we will just kind of unpot this and see what the roots are looking like. I don't really love messing with a plant when it has a new leaf on the way, but I'm not planning to cut any stem or anything. And I do still plan on acclimatizing this in LECA. Um, we just have some import roots that have gone bad, but I can see some new roots, which is good, like right there. That is a brand new root. But like all of these guys, this is all, this is all mushy. So while I am cleaning up here, I'll tell you what happened. And you know what? I'm actually going to clean this chunk a little bit. I have not cleaned a chunk in a while, but I'll do that after I trim the roots. So a couple days ago, I woke up around like 4, 4.30 in the morning and I uh, had to use the washroom and I noticed that like I was having some cramping and usually when I have Braxton Hicks, I have Braxton Hicks like literally every 10 minutes um, usually and I'm getting used to that sensation. It's almost kind of like numb to me now but this cramping was below my belly and it felt very much like period cramps and I was confused because I had never felt that during the course of this pregnancy before. And I was like, okay, well, like kind of gross, but in pregnancy you have to try and decipher between actual cramping or like gas pains. Cause sometimes you'll think that you have like bad pain or like a cramp or like something's wrong. And then you, you burp or you toot and you're like, oh, I feel better. It was fine. It was just gas. Anyway, went back to sleep. Didn't think much of it. Woke up in the morning and I was still kind of cramping and usually it's Archie that wakes me up even before my alarm because he is like babies in general are more active when you're not moving because when you move around and you're you're active it's kind of like you're rocking them to sleep and then also when you're moving around you just don't really feel them as much so this morning um, in particular he wasn't moving at all and I was like oh that's weird that he's not like awake but you know as they get bigger the movements become a little bit less crazy because there's not as much room to move around in there didn't think much of it um went to the bathroom and I noticed again sorry this is kind of gross but there was a little bit of like old blood like brown blood down there when I wiped and again, I have not bled a single time during this pregnancy. So I was like, this is kind of weird. Texted my sister and she's like, oh yeah, that happened to me in my third trimester. All throughout my third, I was kind of just like spotting. And then I Googled it and it was like, oh yeah, like brown blood is really not a cause for concern, especially in your third trimester as you're like 
cervix whatever lining thins out kind of noticed every few hours i would have that cramping sensation again and i'm like are these cramps or am i having freaking contractions you know then towards the end of the day before dinner and okay i should say this i was telling vince that i was having cramping that day and that i was bleeding like that brownish blood or whatever sorry i need to go get my scraper yeah he knew that i was bleeding and on mondays he has basketball and that like his the place that he plays basketball at is about 30 25 30 minutes away and he usually is gone from like 6 p.m until like 10 sometimes 10 30 and we were thinking like with the cramping and stuff i'm like we're like should you go should you not go but i didn't want him to not go if it was like nothing you know so we he had to do tax stuff anyway so he had to leave no matter what but we were like okay how about you just like go to basketball earlier and come back earlier just in case you know and he's like and i won't play for as long by the way um if you are new to this channel this is an earwax scraper and i use it to clean my chunks and stems and i love doing it for new imports because usually they're like so so filthy so anyway uh he leaves and i go on with my night i have dinner and then <clears throat> after dinner i went to use the washroom again and uh, I noticed that the blood went from brown to like a pink and it wasn't just like when I wiped it was like I was dripping it like it was coming out of me and I was I freaked out I was like okay something doesn't feel right especially because I had eaten dinner and I still wasn't feeling Archie like bounce off the walls and I even had some sweet stuff during dinner like a lot of sweet stuff and normally he would be going insane. I texted my, she's kind of like my unofficial midwife. She lives downstairs and I texted her like what was going on and she's like, you know, what? I think that you should go in and just get checked because bleeding during pregnancy can be normal, like especially if it's just spotting and it's not like full on blood, you know, but if the movements are different and he's not moving around as much as he normally does, that is one of the things that we ask people to come in for and get checked out. I called Vince told him to come home to come get me and we went to the hospital and uh they put me on a monitor we did a like non-stress test or stress test or something where they monitor his heartbeat and monitor his movements and stuff and he wasn't really moving for maybe the first hour that we were there which was kind of weird and then as soon as they gave me apple juice he was just going insane so normally they want to see at least six movements within two hours and in that two hour period i think they clocked like 50 movements or something like i'm telling you this dude inside of my belly is crazy and so that's what i mean like when i didn't feel him for several hours i was like this is not right this guy is constantly moving around and for me to not feel him especially after dinner especially after having sweets i was just like in full panic mode i got every test under the sun done every swab cervix check which was freaking awful they said that i might have a shortened cervix i mean i don't really know exactly the science behind it but if you have a shortened cervix you're more likely to go into preterm labor and this is what i was concerned about i was like am i gonna have a baby tonight what is going on i was not mentally prepared i had just earlier that day when i first saw the brown blood I just emergency packed my hospital bag. It's something that I've wanted to do over the last few weeks. I've just been putting it off because I've been lazy. But after the bleeding, I was like, I think I need to just pack this just in case. So, you know, we brought the hospital bag with us. By the way, this is just water and hydrogen peroxide. 
just to clean off the gunk there is a bit of like stem rot but it's not bad and i think it's gonna tell us up and be just fine but i do want to get it cleaned up because i'd like to get some more root action on this stem anyway they referred me for an ultrasound which i went to today and everything looks seemingly normal i have not spoken to the my ob yet about the results but you know archie was moving around just fine and she said my cervix isn't short and it's measuring normal which i'm happy about because i would love to make it <laughs> to full term if possible i really don't i don't want to go into preterm labor and go home without archie and have to you know leave him in the NICU or whatever like that is obviously I'm prepared for whatever the plan is my birth plan really is just deliver baby safely keep me safe and that's it so if he comes early and he has to be in the NICU obviously that's out of my control but I would like to go home with him if possible that's why like they haven't put me on bed rest or anything i made a note to call them at noon uh just to see if i can see what my results are i am hoping they don't like put me on bed rest because to me that's that would be like the worst possible news just because i i don't know i can't lay in bed for that long I would go crazy and I still have so much to do this weekend we're planning on doing the full move for Archie's room so we're moving my husband's office space into our bedroom and Archie will take over that entire room and I do plan on vlogging it so if you don't follow my vlog already that is linked in the description and I will show the process of it and kind of show you what his room is looking like now. But anyway, all that said, kind of a crazy few days. You know, I'm grateful though that I'm already 33 weeks and if I do go into labor at any point, survival rate is very, very high and this is really the only complication if you can even call it that, that I've had this entire pregnancy. So I'm just grateful that it's been a pretty, but I mean, besides the, the nausea that I'm still dealing with, it's been a pretty like straightforward and like easy pregnancy, if you will, compared to what a lot of women go through. Like if you're diagnosed with gestational diabetes or something, preeclampsia, Incompet incompetent cervix, all of those things that I was so worried about, ectopic pregnancy. I just don't think I could do this again. There's so much anxiety that comes with pregnancy that I just don't think I could deal with it. Stem is clean. Now I'm just going to be repotting it. I'm not gonna use the same LECA because that LECA touched all the rotty roots. I'm gonna use brand new LECA and I'm not gonna add water to the LECA right away. I am going to wet the LECA and then dump the water out so that I can let anything that I scraped, scraped, callus up before I add some mica water. I think I might steam clean my floors today or I don't know if I should wait until after a week of is done filming. But these floors are filthy. I haven't steam cleaned them in ages. Also, I'm freaking <laughs> um, editing my uh, weirdo plants video, which if you watch every single one of my videos, which by the way, thank you if you do, you'll know that I had a freaking fuzz in my eyebrow the whole time. And it's like, obviously not the most embarrassing or like worst thing that could be on your face while filming, but it's just bothering me so much having to edit this video and staring at this damn lint in my eyebrow. I have some clean wet LECA here and this is a good way like if you have just cut parts of stem, did some root trimming or whatever it is and you're transferring to like pawn or LECA, 
and you need things to callus, just wet the substrate and then pot it and you can leave it for a couple hours without having things like fully dry, you know? So hopefully this thing is a lot happier being cleaned up. Crystallinums are pretty resilient when it comes to importing and also when you do things like root trim and stuff. And I find that when you root trim and you clean those stems, it really promotes like vigorous root growth. And I'm gonna be probably inoculating with great white. I am more of a TPS fan, but I will say that I've had really good results with using great white for imports specifically. Now there's no scientific reason why it's all anecdotal and it's all just based on my observations but they both do the job honestly i like them both some people were telling me that using hydrogen peroxide water with their imports have really helped boost um, root growth but it conflicts i believe with mycorrhizae and so you kind of have to decide like, do I want to use hydrogen peroxide or do I want to use myco? And I just prefer to use myco um, since I re-inoculate my plants all the time and I don't want to have to remember like, okay, I'm using hydrogen peroxide water on this guy and myco on this one. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite sure the hydrogen peroxide method would, would be for me unless maybe I'm dealing with a very finicky plant or something or a plant that keeps rotting or something like that but anyway i will never understand the phenomenon of ex-boyfriends like slipping into your dms like why why you obviously see that i am married with child on the way and you're like what's up nothing is up that's why i stopped talking to you 20 years ago <laughs> anyway so here is the crystallinum i'm hoping in a couple weeks we can see some nice roots forming on the side i'll have to make note to include this in part of an updates video i was gonna film an updates video but i was like i feel like i don't really have anything to update you guys on if i'm wrong please correct me and leave all the you know suggestions for me in the comments but i really can't think of anything besides maybe updating you on like my glorious that i recently repotted maybe my splendid that i took home a while ago and that's it that's it i don't know also you guys i want to show this to you i did a poll in my instagram stories and i fooled so many people so oh let me take the tag out no cheating what do you think what do you reckon this is i think the options that i put maybe i'll just go pull up my story i did like a quiz i put like four hybrids as options and i fooled you i fooled you okay so i put the first option as crystallinum forgetii or crystallinum clarinervium or magnificum forgetii or forgetii clarinervium i'll throw the options up on the screen and you can Take a wild guess. Some of you will already know the answer if you follow me on Instagram and you did this poll. So I'll give you some time. Here are the other leaves. Not really much to look at. I feel like this is the leaf that I want you to focus on. Okay, so the answer is actually Magnificum forgetting. The answer is Magnificum Forgetii, and this is a hybrid from Lauren. She was gonna sell. She was gonna sell this in the last live sale, and I was like, nope, she's mine. I'm taking her home. So 66 people thought it was a Crystallinum Forgetii. 190 people thought it was Crystallinum Clarinervium. 57 people thought it was Magnificum Forgetii, and then 130 people thought it was Forgetii Clarinervium. Honestly, if I saw this plant, I would think it's probably a Crystal Clary 
or something just because I don't know this doesn't really strike me as a mag for Getty eye at all but it's so cute this leaf is just like about to finish hardening off it is very root bound in here so I kind of want to repot it now before another leaf comes out so I think we'll just do that really quickly what else did I say I was gonna do today harvest berries clean up my import oh um pull some propagations for the sale right 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 okay i don't know which vessel i want to put this in i don't want to use a i don't want to use a glass one because this one is just living in my exo here so maybe we can size up to uh i think i do want to do drainage holes so maybe we'll do with this one I could probably even go bigger than that and do the really big size up method. And whoa, size up to this, this size. Yeah, let's do it. And I will do like a down at the bottom. I think oh my god, my belly's so itchy. You guys, I got my first stretch mark. I thought that I was going to uh, like dodge the whole thing because I think that if you were gonna get stretch marks, it would have happened by now considering I feel like I'm freaking ginormous. Um, but yeah, I got my first one somewhere here. Oh, right there, it's on the right side. It's really small. I was panicked at first because I, one of the reasons, and this is gonna sound really selfish, but one of the reasons I didn't wanna have kids because I didn't want, I didn't want stretch marks. I, I basically didn't want to sacrifice my body in the process. Doing a little bit of LECA down at the bottom. Um, but then, and so I showed my sister and I was like, oh my gosh, I got my first stretch mark. And she was like, I don't know, it's kind of like a rite of passage or proof that you actually were pregnant. It's a souvenir. I was like, you know what? You're onto something, you're right. You're not right very often, but you're right this time. Okay, I need... Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna sanitize all of this LECA anyway, so we'll just do that. I just needed somewhere to put the soil. I probably don't have to do much entangling but it looks like it was getting close to coming out of these drainage holes, so it's probably a good thing that I'm getting it out of here now. Really healthy roots. Lauren uses a cocoa-based medium, which retains more water, um, but I prefer a peat-based one. I know it's not environmentally friendly, but my, my way of I guess minimizing my carbon footprint in this hobby is I only allow myself one bag of um, soil a year. I also am using pond and LECA and you know I reuse that over and over again so yeah I, I don't feel like I'm being excessive in my soil purchasing like there are some people who buy several bags a year I try and reuse soil when I can. When I first said that on this channel, there were a lot of people that were like, that's bad for your plants. Honestly, if it's gonna help me only use one bag a year, I'm gonna do it. Like unless there was like rot in it or something, I have no problem mixing in old soil with new soil just to make it stretch further. Okay, these roots are fantastic. There's really no rotted roots at all. I only lost one here on the way. It's looking really good. So here is the size of the root system in comparison to the pot. So I think she's gonna fill in pretty fast. Ow, Archie. I feel like also this week I could probably do another spider mite prevention treatment thing. I'm just like, it's getting so hard to move around now that I don't know if I have it in me to like haul all these plants to 
my bathroom one thing that i would love honestly like if i ever had the opportunity to like build my own home or like remodel my own home and sort of like do what i want i would love to do something like melissa lowe and i will throw her up next to me oh i'm like so off center that's gonna bother me when i'm film I'm editing um so she has this walk-in sort of like sauna shower that she can just bring all her plants in she just gives them a, a good rinse down and she gives them like steam baths and they're just it's just such a cool space and i just feel like that would be so nice to be able to do one big rinse and just wash all my plants it's a little hard when you're growing in no drainage because obviously you can't just saturate everything because it's going to fill up the pots so that's definitely one drawback of growing in no drainage you don't have that flexibility to sort of just douse plants and flush them and rinse them you have to be very careful but i'm really not doing no drainage for most of my larger plants is that true <laughs> that's not true is it i just lied to you my big monstera deliciosa large form is in a no drainage pot my tie is technically in a drainage pot but it's in like a glass vessel so really the water never goes anywhere all of my big crawlers are in self-watering planters. Yeah, I lied. All my big plants are in no, basically no drainage. Whoops. I mean, maybe if I had a space like that where I knew I could just like rinse things down, I might switch it up just for the ease of being able to like have that luxury of giving them a rinse, you know? But anywho, her space is so cool i would love something like that or maybe something that maybe isn't like fully indoors but is like outdoors and has a drain in there with just concrete and walls so that i could just get as messy as i wanted and oh it'd be a dream a dream but for now i live in a condo don't get me wrong, we have it really good here, but you know, I don't want to be in a condo forever, if possible. Okay, so she is repotted. Hopefully she likes her new pants. I am going to water this right away because I didn't root trim or anything, like she should be fine to get some water right away. But now I'm thinking I need a... I need a cover pot for it so it doesn't spill everywhere. I really wish they made these square pots for this size because it fits the size smaller, but not this one. Whoa. I actually did buy these and I'm kind of like punching myself for not bringing it, but I went to a place called Smart and Final in Sacramento and they had these, but they were bigger and they, and they should be able to fit this size. But we brought so much stuff back that I just left it so that my dad could bring it when he comes up here for Archie's birth. But now I'm like, man, why didn't I just bring those? Because I actually needed that right away. Dum dum. Big old dum dum. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to put. I don't know what to put this in. I don't know. But I just knees. <coughs> that escaped me. Okay, anywho. I am going to water this and I will find a cover pot for it. We just don't know what it is right now. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm so incredibly over this week. I stopped filming to use the washroom and ended up going to the hospital again so that was not in today's plan but obviously you do what you gotta do 
I went to the washroom and blood, just blood. And I was like, oh good, am I gonna give birth right now? And then all I could think about while I was away was the fact that, oh shite, I didn't put a cover pot on this. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't put water in the LECA with the crystallinum. I didn't water this, everything's gonna dry out. It's so funny, the things that like, the possibility that I was about to give birth and the thing I was concerned about <laughs> were my plants. I was like, someone's got to go back and water those plants. I'm sorry. Vince, if you miss the birth, sorry about it. Okay, I truly don't know which cover pot this is going to freaking go in. I don't even have a saucer for it. This is a problem, a problemo. Oh, I guess I could use one of these. Oh, I don't have any more big ones. That's what she said. Oh my, this is obnoxiously large, but you know what, you guys, I don't have it in me anymore today to um, use my brain. I have had two cervix checks in the past three days, which is way more cervical checks than I ever needed my entire life. And it was so painful. And now, and I'm in a bad mood because <clears throat> at the end, they were like, oh, you can go. And then we were getting ready to go. And then a nurse came back in and was like, oh, the OB wants to, talk to you about something, but she's in a, a C-section right now. And so like, it'll just be probably another 20 minutes. 20 minutes turned into an hour. Mind you, I hadn't eaten since the morning and I was starving and I was getting like lightheaded and stuff. And then, um, yeah, waited an hour withering away. Oh my gosh, this leaf is so floppy already. Um, I was withering away. After an hour, the nurse comes back. She's like, oh, never mind. She says, you can go. I was like, no, I know. I know for a fact you guys did not just put me through that. <laughs> After you guys prodded at me and uh, just complaining a lot, but I'm just so over it. I'm over this week. I want this week to be done with. Another thing I discovered today is that Archie is measuring above the 90th percentile. He's already like five pounds. <laughs> He's like five and a half pounds. Okay, mind you, the, um, you know, ultrasound weights are very like guesstimates. Like it's not super accurate. The burn on my hand hurts. They're not super accurate, <clears throat> but his head is huge. Like his measurements are huge. His legs are kind of short because he's, I mean, I'm his mother. Vince is not very tall. Vince is like 5'8", but like the circumference around his head is big. His abdomen is big. And basically he's measuring, his head is measuring at like 36 weeks or something like that, or 38. Did it say 38 or 36? 38 weeks. His head is measuring at 38 w weeks. Head circumference at 36 weeks. Abdomen 35 weeks. And his poor little legs measuring at 32 weeks. And I'm about to be 33 weeks. So his legs are measuring like where you're supposed to be measuring like at my gestation. But basically they're like, yeah, we're gonna have to do another ultrasound at 36 weeks to see how big he is because obviously I don't think you wanna give birth to like a 12 pound baby. And I'm like, you know what? Being induced was not on my bingo card, but what else could go wrong? Anyway guys, I'm just about ready to like call it on today's week up even though I feel like I didn't do much, but today and this week have just been a little too much for me to handle and I would, really just like to lay down in bed and put on a movie or something and not work and not be upright. <laughs> so 
So <clears throat> we're gonna pot up some props. I might have to go through my prop bin and see what else is ready, but it looks like this Hoya Erythrina is ready to go. For the live sale, I have some very lightly rooted Evroshirai. This one is not ready yet. Not ready. This one is ready. So I'm gonna write lightly rooted on it so that people know. I wanted to sell this one in the last live sale, but wasn't feeling confident about the roots and I'm still not seeing that many roots. So I'm gonna let this chill out. I think this is a good size for this. This one's probably fine for that. This one might be a little small. Yeah, let's go for a taller one. We'll do that. Sure. Okay. Cool. Oh. I could do pawn. It's just I don't think that she likes shipping plants in pawn. Talking about Lauren. I think she prefers pawn or Lekka. So whatever, well, let's just do Lekka. Let's do whatever is gonna be easiest for lore. Sorry for any background noise. Vince um, is walking, or Vince just got back from walking Pudge. Hi Pudge, welcome home. Welcome home buddy. Thanks for holding your pee for so long. My poor baby, he usually goes out during lunch, but we left before lunch to go to the hospital and I didn't even think about the fact that he hadn't gone out. Okay, cutting two. Is there like a Hoya resurgence? Cause it seems like every live sale, people are asking for Hoyas just as much as they're asking for Ethereum, which is not usually the trend. Usually people just want Ethereum, but there's always like a good amount of people who want Hoyas and usually Hoya, Hoya, usually Jing is the Hoya dealer at these live sales but she's been in Japan for like a month but she's back now thank goodness we missed her. So these are done so we've got the Hoya Erythrina and the two Eve Rosherai. I wish I had more for the live sale but this is all um, I could get for now and the new cuttings that I took from a video that went up a couple weeks ago those probably won't be ready for another few weeks because I want to wait until the roots are at least as long as the ones that I potted up today and then I'm just gonna water it with some great white water let's see what else is in my prop box that might be ready I think I'll bring maybe, not bring, but I think I'll sell maybe five more Pothex Red Crystal seedlings if there is any interest in those. I guess while we're here, I can kind of show you what's going on in here. Oh, okay, got some of you. This prop box has my Lux in it. I didn't realize how, whatchamacall? slow lux leaves grow so slow I'm trying to oh i can see those damn black lines it's not as bad when i don't have defocus on can i still see them hold on it bothers me so much just like the black lines that like move across the screen i'm surprised that more people don't comment on it i can still see it what else do I have in here? Oh, my Heterophila Dragon's Breath, an actual Dragon's Breath that I got from Dania. If you guys watched my California video, like California plant haul video, you'll know that she sent me a corm and um, it sprouted and it's so cute. So I'm very happy about that. Here's a little update on the Dioscoria. It has perked up so much. Like this leaf is so much firmer than it was when it arrived so that's good hopefully we can keep that going the cutting that i actually have in water even this leaf is super firm 
now. It's yellowing, so I think it's dying, but as long as I can get some roots on it, that'd be cool. Who is this? Is this my Zara Michelle? Where's my Zara Michelle? Is this my Zara Michelle? I think this is my Zara Michelle. Where's my red crystal? I think it's in another... Oh, my red crystal is there. Okay, this is my Zara Michelle. Why does it only have one leaf? How come I can't remember anything that's happening to my plants? Okay, I really need to like offload some of these. The only issue is I don't know what form of Gloriosum this is. I can't tell if this is zebra or if it's white veins, but I want to say that it's zebra because I remember when I chopped up my big plant, I like had a whole bunch of sticks and like they wouldn't do anything and I've had this for so long. They're very, very silvery. So I don't know. I just feel like I should wait a little longer because I don't want to like sell someone something and then like, you know, they've been wanting a certain form of Gloriosum and then it ends up being wrong. I would feel very bad. I feel like some of these Rios might be ready. They're very lightly rooted, but they're rooted. There's one, two, three, four cuttings. I can split this into two. Pretty much all the plants I'm gonna be selling are lightly rooted. My mandula is not a plant that I'm gonna be selling. These are ready to go though, so maybe we can repot my mandula this week so I can add some of these cuttings to my pot. And then I have a Callistophila here that is also perked up and ready to go. This one has also perked up. I didn't sell these in the last one because the leaves were still really soft and wrinkly. Um, yeah, I think that's it for that. Oh my god, this prop box is so dirty. Whoa. Um, and this is mine. I'm not selling this. I just, yeah, they all rotted and I wanted to reroot it so that I could get it repotted. So maybe that's something we do this week. And then I have an all white fry deck. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. I think that is good for that box. Should I sell? I don't know if I should sell these Gloriosum, but I kind of want to get them out of here. What do you guys think? Are these white veins or I'm on it? Like my spidey sense is saying zebra but you know what it's not vegan the stress of me selling a plant with the wrong id is going to be greater than the stress that taking up space in this prop box will bring me so we're going to leave her for now all right let's just get these potted up and then i think i think that might be it for the plants that I'm selling this week. I am gonna pull some of the Hoff X Red Crystal seedlings. I'll maybe have like three to five available if you weren't able to snag one in the last live sale. And then I think that'll be it. I don't really have too much this week. And that's fine, because I'm not even gonna be there. Anyway, so I was thinking, uh, I was going through my comments while I was why does it say that it's not bright enough? Um, I was going through my comments while I was waiting at the hospital. Should I say waiting or rotting away? Um, and, oh, do I need a bit? No. So anyway, yeah, I was reading comments and I was, I had so many, like I feel bad because I was looking at sort of like the older comments and was seeing a lot of people like asking for advice or saying, like this is happening with my plants and like could you tell me what's going on with it like i can send you pictures and stuff so 
I will admittedly say I am terrible with keeping up with comments, like terrible, terrible. But if you guys are on Discord, me and Alice have a joint Discord and there's, I don't know how many people are on there now, but the, the little community is quite big now. So if you need like advice on something, sorry if the leg is loud, you can go on there and there's like a whole section for like plant problems. You can upload pictures, you can talk to other people, they can help sort of diagnose issues because there's a lot of there's a lot of knowledgeable people there that are like pretty active and are kind of ready to help and willing to help so I will link that in the description it's also linked in the about section of my youtube channel it's also connected to my bio on my instagram if you can't find it and yeah we have two great mods and it's just a good place if you're looking for some friends or you are um, just yeah needing help with plants and you need, an, and you need an answer fast because it's a chat, right? It's not like you're leaving a comment hoping someone sees it. Give that a gander and I yeah, apologize for comments being unanswered. I'm hoping now that I'm going back down to one video that I can just be better about answering comments because yeah it's just really hard to keep up with everything um when i'm constantly filming constantly editing and growing a child there's like part of me that's not excited for the pay cut but there's also another part of me that's like holy smokes one video a week that's nothing and I can sleep more and I can get all the things that I need done in the house. Luckily, my OB didn't put me on bed rest. I was like, I would rather have my baby early <laughs> than be on bed rest. Please don't put me on bed rest. I won't survive it. Hopefully all of these sell so that Lauren doesn't have to house them at the shop for too long because I don't even know the next time that I'm going to be back there. I don't know why it keeps flashing saying that my light isn't bright enough. There's so much light here. What's happening? Okay, and this one is just too long. That's what she said. These Rios are really pretty. If you guys are have been looking for a Rio, I've been loving mine lately. It's just one of those trailing plants where I'm like, oh, you're one of the you're one of the good ones. And mine is just like starting to look really, really, really cute. I guess I can throw this in a prop box, see what happens. Not let it go to waste. Okay, so here's the lineup. We've got one, two, three, four, five Rios, two Callistophila, 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 one Erythrina, two Erosheri, and then we'll have Hoff X. Red Crystal. I don't think I'm going to be selling any of my Pappy hybrids just yet. I kind of want to wait till they get a little bit bigger. Um, but I think that's it in terms of the plants that I have to sell. I don't really want to rush anything. Everything else in my prop boxes are my plants. Honestly, they're not really plants that I'm looking to sell. Um, I do have an Ace of Spades, which I think I'm, I don't know, I guys, I've been like dangling this damn plant for weeks, but it's so small that I'm like, I kind of want it to get bigger so that it can actually show Ace of Spades features because it, it just looks like a tiny little piece of cilantro <laughs> right now. Um, and I also have a Forgetti Eye, I wonder if I can find it, my Forgetti Eye Carla that is so cute. But I honestly, I don't know if Lauren is going to want to buy that one. It already looks so much like a Forgetti Eye Carla. Anyway, guys, today was too much for me. That was uh, unexpected. I don't like when there's a wrench thrown in my plans, but 
Uh, yeah, tomorrow, don't really know what we're gonna be doing. Probably some watering out in the living room. I think it's supposed to be sunny. Gotta clean up in here. Um, maybe sterilize some substrates. I don't know. I really don't know. But uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.
Hey guys, so it is Friday. I'm struggling. Um, I didn't film yesterday because I was just so tired and I just could not get myself to do it today, not feeling any better. It sucks because it's such a beautiful day today. Like the sun is out, it's like perfect weather and I've just been in bed. So I had to drag myself out of bed to film and uh, not even really just to film it's just like my shelf needed to be watered two like two days ago and um everything's getting thirsty and so i just really like i just need to get a move on you're gonna see me wearing this my little wrestler belt archie is so heavy he is a currently estimated weight almost six pounds and uh that's like two pounds heavier than he's supposed to be according to my app um, and I'm just yeah I'm in just so much pain his movements lately have been so strong and it just like he like kicks down at my like cervix and my bladder and I'm just uncomfortable I cried yesterday because I was just like how am I gonna do this for another two months but anyway enough sulking so I'm gonna try and snap myself out of this funk um, I was gonna take you through watering and all that but I think we're just gonna do another time-lapse or whatever because I'm currently watching the live sale right now so honestly I'm just gonna pop in my headphones pitter-patter around so if you've got stuff to do um, now would be the time to do it because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be talking or showing anything really Jeez. so yeah that's what uh, I'm doing right now but we are going to be heading into the plant room after I'm done out here because there's a few more things that I need to do um, I think there's something that I need to repot and yeah uh, that's gonna wrap it for this week's week of I think it's long enough I can't take any more filming so anyway it's hot I'm like glistening so yeah let's just get the day started
Ow. <laughs> Forgot I don't have my rolly chair. All right, last two things. Oh my God, Archie. You know, I know it's not his fault, but I can't help but get like frustrated sometimes. I'm like, why do you have to do that in there? Like, just chill out. It's like he just is like punching me or something and it hurts. Okay, so I can see one seed that needs to be picked now on this Brielle. And I try and pick them before it gets to this point. And that's what I was trying to tell you guys. Like, it gets a little, oh my God, I'm a hot mess here. It just gets a little wrinkly and pruney. Like, if you look at, where am I looking at? This one. This guy right here, like how it's like super dark now and like wrinkly. So I'm gonna start plucking out some of these. I'm gonna start plucking out some of these and I'll bring you a little higher. I'm gonna pick this wrinkly guy right here. And um, who else is ready? want to pick them too. There's another wrinkly one right here. I think Thursday would have been the sweet spot for these two, but we'll see how the seeds look. And there's one right here that, okay, I'm just going to pull this one out because she was just hanging out. The rest probably need a few more days. Oh, I think this one's good to pick. It's like if it can fall out pretty easily or if you have to wriggle it out, then I usually just leave it. I almost feel like these down here are gonna get wrinkly soon, but they're not coming out very easily. So I'm gonna leave the rest and I'll probably do the other ones over the weekend. I'm just going to pop them as such. And they are all white these ones are yeah these two are kind of green but we've just got white white and like lime green but the two that i um harvested that were white are now green after being in this prop bin for some time and it looks like they are both oh there's a bunk snap Looks like this one right here is starting to, oh, can't see. This one right here is starting to germinate. It's got its little tail growing now. So <clears throat> typically I'd like to soak these in water for a couple days, but honestly, I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna leave it and just see what they do. Stick them in here already. I just find that when you put it in water for a few days, and I'll take you through my whole process in a video that's coming out in a few weeks. Just find that if you stick it in water for a few days, they actually get a bit more plump. Um, and sometimes they turn green and then you can put them in the prop bin, but I'm just gonna do that. Uh, so yeah. I was obviously watering and my ficus deltoidea is looking a bit sad. A little bit of yellowing, the leaves aren't as firm. Well, they kind of are, but I don't know. This to me is just kind of looking a little bit sad. Like it's looking a bit chlorotic. I don't know if it's from the light or what, but some of these bottom ones look a little um, wrinkly. So I just want to get it out of here and kind of see what might be going on. So we're going to do that. Ooh, okay. I feel like this week of was kind of sucky. I don't even remember what I did, but I've just been struggling and I think this is going to be my last week of for a while. I'm not probably going to do one until after the summer. It just depends. You know, I have to see how it goes with Archie. I'm just trying to be realistic. I don't want to think that I'm like superhuman and can film the way I do now, even after a month with because Vince will be on pat leave until October. And I told him I want to go back to work after a month, so he'll be like primary caretaker for 
couple months, three, three months at least. But I still don't know like what life is gonna look like, you know. Um, but I am gonna try to do the day of plant things because I can I feel like I can commit to like one full day of filming and do like one long two to three hour video in replacement of the week of it's just so taxing to film every single day yeah this is gonna very very likely gonna be the last week of just because I can't even imagine doing another one if I'm any bigger than this and any more uncomfortable so what do we have going on here oh come on dang it oh it's fine i gotta vacuum anyway i gotta do laundry today too poops okay um the roots look great i don't know what i don't know what's going on i don't know why there's no root breakage like just a little bit but nothing that it's looking suspicious or anything that's very weird it's not root bound but like it just looks a little yellowy to me i don't see any pests i don't see any spider mites but you know what it like now that it's bare root i could probably run this under some water and just give it a nice rinse down because i haven't really rinsed this thing ever that probably wouldn't hurt I don't really want to get the roots wet though because it tends to clump because I'm going to repot this right away and if the roots are wet, it's just going to like go into a little, it's going to form one big string <laughs> and I don't really want that because I want to be able to spread the roots out. I do see a lot of new growth so maybe it's just going through it. But yeah, I don't see any pests. I don't see a single spider mite and usually I can spot spider mites or thrips from a million miles away, but hmm, not seeing any. It's so funny, like I just, and it's so stupid to say, but sometimes when a plant is going downhill, I'm like, can you at least show me some root rot or like one pest so that I can narrow it down? But when there's nothing, I'm just like, okay, so I don't know what it is. All right, I'm gonna go give this a rinse and then I'm gonna find another pot to put it in. I think I wanna put it in a cuter pot. Um, let me see what I can scrounge. Oh my gosh, there's soil everywhere. <laughs> Can't bend over. Oh no, I'm gonna use my feet. Oh. Um, I gotta hustle because Vince is off in 20 minutes, meaning the house is gonna be loud. So. While that's drying off, um, another thing that I need to do is separate this and propagate it because I'm going to be selling the whole thing. Um, I talk about it in my eight weirdo plants video about why I'm getting rid of it. So I will link that in the description. So it looks like one, one main plant here. Um, I think I'm gonna separate Jeez. Okay, I think I'm gonna cut off this from here. Pudge is snoring. Oh, I forgot this thing leaks sap. Or oh, nor. And then I'm gonna cut this one again here. Ah, it's splattering everywhere, that's what she said. Oh my god. She's juicy. Okay, so there's that one, and then I have this guy, which has three. Now, I think what I want to do is actually leave the three strands, but just shorten them. So I'll cut here. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. Cut. What did I just cut? Oh, there. I'll cut here. And. Oh my, you can't see nothing, guys. You can't see anything. Ugh. Um, and then I'm gonna cut 
here. Ah. And this one too. Oh god. Okay, so I've got a few cuttings here now. And this as the sort of main plant, but now I need to allow it to callus, but I'm gonna use oh, I'm gonna use the same pawn just because it's fine. It's not like there was any root rot or anything. It was a little bit of root breakage, but nothing major. And I have to propagate all of those. I want to wait till they're rooted, but this one will be sold in the next North Shore live sale. I feel like I know I'm bringing um, a lot of new plants home. <laughs> Or I have been bringing a lot of new plants home, but and I just ordered, an, I pre-ordered another plant from Equigenera last night because they're doing a show over at Vandula Farms in a couple weeks, and so uh, yeah, it's just a plant that I've been wanting. Some of you guys probably know what I ordered because um, it's a plant from Equigenera that I've been wanting for some time. Uh, so hopefully they get back to me in time because today is the last day to pre-order and I don't know if they're gonna see my message in time um, But anyway all that said I feel like I'm in a I'm getting into a better place now where I can like Manage my plants watering out here today was like a breeze mind you still got a water in the plant room, but I'm not gonna do that on camera. I'm going to Watch a movie and enjoy that by myself. But anyway, here is the new plant she is a new and um hopefully she finds a new home this isn't going to go up in time so sorry if you've been wanting one of these but i do have many more cuttings and i have a few more in my plant room as well all right let's go get my ficus deltoidea and then let's wrap this puppy up because I gotta do laundry. This is the vessel I have chosen. I just have to remember that it has drainage holes because this is the pot. Um, this one was made by a friend actually. She made it herself. So it looks like she just bought this deli container and then she used a, what is that thing called? To burn holes. And then I wish this didn't have a drainage hole but I just felt like this combination would be way cuter than um, just a glass vessel. I'm gonna opt for a little bit of a chunkier mix this time. Um, the one I had it in was quite dense. Not that it hated it or anything, but this is the mix I have right now and I don't really wanna have to make a denser mix just for this one repot. And I'm just using my normal Aeroid mix on this one. Oh my word. I cannot believe that I actually mustered up the energy to get out of bed today. It was so difficult. I was so comfy in bed. And I think it was the sun that got me out of bed because I always feel like, even though it's like all sun in the forecast for the foreseeable future, I mean, who knows with Vancouver, you know? But I always feel like when the sun is out, I really have to take advantage of it because we're just gonna go back to having another gloomy day and then I'm gonna regret not doing things around the house and whatever. And anyway, um, here is her new pants. She is so cute. Hopefully whatever is going on with these leaves, it sorts itself out. Ow. Um, but I'd say it still looks pretty good. I'm just comparing it to kind of what it used to look like. And I don't know, this just, it looks a little, it looks a little ill and like bleached. I, again, I don't know if it's too much light. It's living over here. It started to go downhill though when I put it in my south facing window. The leaves got so wrinkly and I think it was just too much sun. Um, so I think this one might be better under lower light So I think I'm gonna move it from here because it's right underneath the grow light to somewhere somewhere else in the house Maybe on my shelf in my kitchen or maybe just in my kitchen 
somewhere where it's just getting diffused indirect light um, because it's, I've ruled out root rot, I've ruled out pests. So at this point, I'm thinking it's either a light thing or a nutrient thing. But you know, the growth on it has been quite slow and I'm fertilizing very lightly every week. So there's part of me that thinks it's not a nutrient thing, but you know, we'll see how she does. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I'm saying goodbye forever. Um, these week ofs, they're, they're very exhausting, like I said, but I feel like they've become such like a staple on this channel. And um, I don't know, I get a little bit sad thinking about not posting a week of for another few months. I'm aiming to have my next week of up in August, maybe. God, that sounds so crazy considering it's, is it April? <laughs> April? But you know, I'm listening and I'm, I'm, I hear all your, I hear all your, I read all your comments and a lot of you are like, you're doing way too much right now. You need to take it easy. I feel like people are gonna comment on the fact that I'm like going up and down a step stool and ladders, but I'm pushing myself for as long as I feel like I can do it, but I am listening to my body. And uh, I think now, like especially this week with all of the false labor scares, like I just need to chill out more. So going back down to one video a week is definitely gonna help. Not having to film a week of is definitely gonna help, but I still plan on at least releasing a few long videos still. Somebody asked if I plan to post while I'm on maternity leave, like if I've prepared enough videos to go up in the months of like June and July. My goal is yes, to have videos that go up that are pre-filmed, but um, I, I don't know. I don't know how things are gonna go. I don't wanna really take a long hiatus from YouTube and to me a long time is a month, not even just for money reasons and needing the extra funds now, but um, I feel like I'm getting so close to 20K and I feel like if I just stop posting, the algorithm is really gonna mess with me and it's gonna be hard to get back into it. So I'm just, I'm going through a few things in my head. Maybe now that I'm back down to one video a week, I can get enough videos in the queue, but we'll just have to see. Um, but anyway, I'm just so thankful for all the support throughout this pregnancy and things like that. But yeah, last week of, uh, I do plan on putting all the week ofs in a playlist. So if you need lots of content to put on while you're doing plant things, maybe you can just run through that playlist. That playlist, if I compile all my week ofs, it's gotta be at least like 30 hours of footage or something like that, I don't know. That is it for me today. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching another video and hanging out with me on uh, Saturday. No Wednesday uploads until, I don't know, maybe August again, um, but I will see you next Saturday.